which shouldn't come as that big of a surprise. It's reported Venom will be rated PG-13 as the AMC movie websites have updated their sites with a PG-13 rating. And they've also released uh, the possible runtime, which is around 1 hour and 52 minutes. The tracking info for the opening weekend is also said to be somewhere around 60 to 85 million, anywhere uh, in between then, uh, which isn't too bad. Well, a lot of fans are hoping for that R rating coming off of movies like uh, Deadpool and uh, Logan. The reason that it's thought Venom is going to be rated PG-13 is because Sony wants it to connect to Spider-Man and Marvel, the MCU, and the Avengers. So they don't want uh, Venom to be too dark and gory where it wouldn't fit alongside your friendly neighborhood Marvel Studios Spider-Man. Um, it's actually thought that Spider-Man or Peter Parker and Tom Holland uh, might make a cameo in Venom. The director kind of hinted at that uh, recently in an interview where he said he's not allowed to say. So if he's not allowed to say, what does that mean? I mean, if Spider-Man wasn't in it, why couldn't he say, no, he's not in it? But if Spider-Man's in it, obviously he wouldn't be allowed to say, right? Um, regarding Venom connecting to the MCU, uh, there was a, a previous report about Sony building their uh, own Spider-Man spin-off universe where uh, it was made mention that Sony doesn't want Venom to be too dark and gory as it could preclude other film matchups not just with Peter Parker's Spider-Man but also with other members of the extended MCU such as the Avengers characters so if, if Venom's you know if Venom's ripping people's heads off and it's real gory and kids see it he's dropping F-bombs is that gonna is that going to match up with, like, you know, Iron Man and Captain America, how Marvel Studios does it? That's that's probably why they're not going that route. Uh, it's further been said Tom Hardy and the director have been injecting humor into the story of Venom, obviously to make it more light and more Marvel Studios-ish. Regarding Sony building their Spider-Man universe, uh, big report from last month offered lots of details not only about the Venom movie, but plans for Solo, so Silver Sable and Black Hat movies, which was once supposed to be a, a one movie, but now they're doing separate movies for each of the characters. Um, I'll include all the links below so you can check that out. But other projects, you know, Morbius is announced, Morbius Living Vampire with Jared Leto. So we see, I guess, Jared Leto's going to be doing the Joker, Suicide Squad 2, and Sony's Morbius. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I don't really have too much of a problem with that. Oh, I'm generally a fan of Jared Leto, so we'll see what happens. I guess it can't be any worse than his Joker and Suicide Squad. Uh, other potential projects from Sony's uh, Spider-Man universe include Craven the Hunter, Jackpot, um, Silk, Nightwatch, who's kind of like a Spawn clone, I guess. But uh, they're, Sony's building, to, trying to mirror what Marvel Studios is doing. And it'll be interesting to see if down the road, if Sony actually gets this together and launches and it's actually successful, if, uh, if it'll end up connecting to the MCU. Because Marvel Studios now has all the X Men Fantastic Four characters. So, you know, it's, assuming they continue their partnership with Sony, they'll continue to have Spider Man and. It'll be one big, uh, one big universe. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a subscribe. Thanks.